ahead and get started. And we are doing low impact cardio with a little bit of weight training at the end. And today we're doing our legs. Thank you for sharing the live. Share it now because we're getting started right now. I'm here. Thank you for helping me wake up all my muscles. Yes. <laughs> Been up since 2.30. Just finished working out with my 5 a.m. crew. Good morning. Wow. Um, to raise that is amazing. Ready to get moving again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're working out twice in a day. That is a lot. All right. So we're going to get started. Let's walk in the spot for 30 seconds. I am wearing a onesie from a one piece outfit from Old Navy. And I think it's so cute. It is so cute. Excuse me. Ooh. I, I think I'm going to go to bed at like eight o'clock. I'm going to put the baby to bed. Hopefully he goes to bed that early and I'm going to go to sleep. All right. So we have 10 more seconds in our little warm up here. And then we're going to get started. Today is leg day. Today is leg day. All right. Now let's get started. Leg up. Do your best. Do your best with lifting your leg up. 20 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, you can do it, 10, 9, engage your core, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, let's go, 2, you can do it, 1, Whew. now we're going to go down, and up. 10 on each side. Ooh, my back is cracked. Seven, six, five, four, you can do it. Three, two, one. Next side. 10, nine, eight, engage your core. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, you can do it. 11, 10, 9, 8, let's go, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, don't forget to breathe, and 1. Oh my gosh, that's the first round. We got three more rounds to go. Good morning, Dominique. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Ruth. Ready, set, let's do it again. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. If you're here just looking in, make sure that you're tapping the screen. You want to get this, um, get the likes to 5,000. All right? So if you could do that, that'll be awesome. We're on our 30-second break. We have 20 more seconds left in this 30-second break. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for tapping the screen. Good morning. Be right. Good morning. All right. Five more seconds in our, re in our rest period. Let's get into it. All right. Leg up. Do your best. 20 seconds. 19. 18. You can do it. 17. Engage your core. 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, I think I skipped the number, 10, <laughs> 9, oh well, 8, 7, 6, get that leg up, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, 
Woo. Down and up. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Next side. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. You can do it. Six. Five. Swing those arms. Four. Three. Two. One. Twenty seconds. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Engage your core. Fourteen. 13, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh my gosh, that one felt better. Thank you guys, we're at 3,000, yay. Thank you for the follows. Welcome to the team. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two rounds down, we have two more to go. All right, this is our little break. We have 10 more seconds in this break and then we're gonna get back into it. All right, whew. Is anybody doing it for the first time? Do you have any first timers on Friday? On a Friday, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. All right, leg up and up, 20 seconds. 18, 17, 16, engage your core. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, do your best, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, let's go, 4, 3, 2, 1, Whew. down and up. Down and up, turn your torso, turn your torso. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next side, T 10, nine, Ooh. eight, seven, let's go. Six, five, you can do it. Four, three, two, one. 20 seconds, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, engage your core. 15, 14, 13, breathe. 12, 11, if I skip numbers, all right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, let's go. 5, 4, 3, you can do it. 2, 1. Woo! That is three rounds. We have one more round to go. Awesome. Thank you for it. For it fortitude. The Juicy Webster, you are new. Welcome in. Lock Queen first day. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Britta's over here doing low impact cardio, nothing high intensity. You're not going to jump. You're gonna protect the joints, the knees, 
and things like that. Those are very important. So that's why we're doing low impact. And some people burn more fat this way than running and all that extra stuff. All right, we're just in our 30 second break. 10 more seconds. This is our last round. Our last round. Good morning, Flolanda. All right, let's get back into it. This is our last one. All right, 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, let's go, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, 6, we can do it though, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh gosh, I was losing my balance. 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let your arms swing. One, next side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20 seconds, 20, 19, 18, keep your body in the same spot. 15, 14, 13, 12, you can do it, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, let's go, 2, one, ooh, yes. That is our cardio. That is our cardio. Thank you so much. Good morning. I'm off today. Had to join in. Yes. We are at, we're over 5K. Thank you guys so much. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Get a sip of water. That was more than a sip. I need to get myself together. That was more than a sip. All right, so we're gonna get into our legs. Good morning, Vonda. Good morning, Lena. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get into our legs for today. Keep your body moving. If you have weights, um, try to grab the heavier weight that you have, the heaviest one that you're comfortable with, that you're comfortable with. All right, I'm gonna use my 15 pound weights. Thank you, Lena, for the rose. I'm gonna use my 15 pound um, weights and we're gonna to try to do, no, try. Where did that word come from, try? We're going to do. That's how you set yourself up for not doing, try. We're doing it. All right, so we're gonna do RDLs. So grab your weight. As you're doing this, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. You don't want to lean over and bend over because you're using more of your back. You're going to hurt your lower back doing that. All right. You want to stick your rear out. If you have to, for me, I'm going to always try to engage my core because it gives me more stability. All right. So you can try to, but you want to stick your butt out as you go down. Okay, go right under your knees and then come back up. This is gonna help strengthen our legs. All right, so let's do that again. Get your weight, get your weight, have it in front of your leg, or you could start like this and just work your way to the front, come down and come back up, but stick your butt out. All right, so let's do 15 of those, 15. 
14. Try to put most of your weight on your heels. Try to put all of your weight on your heels if you can. 13. 12. 11. Stick that butt out. 10. 9. You can do it. Eight, seven, stick the butt out. Six, use your glutes to get up and down. Five, four, take your time. Three, we could do it. Two, we have one more left. Engage your glute and your leg muscles to go up and down. That's how you're building that muscle. All right. Hi, Miss Miss Sean Chante. Am I saying that right? All right. So now we're going to put these weights right above our shoulders. They're not resting on our shoulders. We are actively keeping them in a resistance type of position. We're going to get into a squat stance a little bit wider than your hips. Actually, no, we're gonna do, we haven't done this one in a while. The sumo, sumo squat with a weight, all right? So we're, so drop your, drop your heavy weight if you want to. If you wanna keep your heavy weight, you can do it like this, right? But if you want to do your bicep curl as you're doing that, you wanna go for a lighter weight. We're going to do a sumo squat. So legs should be pointed outward. Your knees should go out, not front. They should go out. All right. Let's, let's do this one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to do a bicep curl or you can just go down and up like such. Okay. Whatever you're comfortable with. 12. 11. Ooh. 10, 9, I'm going to do half and half, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, whew. Two, okay, we could do it, oh my gosh. One, yeah, we're gonna do it with the arms down because yesterday we did arms and the arm is still a little sore. All right, those are our legs. We're gonna do one more round of that. 15 count for each, so we do a total of 30 for each exercise. And then we're gonna get into our donkey kicks and everything else. We are resting. 30 second rest. All right, we got five more seconds left. We can do this. Knees are popping. Your knees are popping. So don't go down low. If your knees are popping or giving you some issues, don't, don't go down low. All right. But you want to make sure that your legs are outward and your knees are going like that. But just go, just go right here. Don't do too much. All right, if your knees are giving you problems, don't go down low, just barely go up and down. We're gonna get the 10K, what the heck? 10K, so that should be our goal then, every morning, 10K. Okay, let's get back into it. <laughs> RDLs, don't forget, stick your rear out as you're going down, all right, down. We're going to do 15 right under the knees, come back up. We're not squeezing, but we are using our glute muscles to go down and up. So that's the only thing that should be activated. All right. 13. 12. You can do it. 11. Stick your butt out. 10. 9. Eight, 
seven. You can do it, guys. Six. Oh, the legs are starting to shake. Five. Four. Make sure you're putting your weight on your heels. Three. Two. Ooh, one. All right. Now we're going to do our sumo squat. You don't have to do the weight. If you're having problems with the weight, just take the weight out of the workout. All right. Because you're still going to build a little bit of muscle with your own body weight and gravity. My, my knee and ankles just popped. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put our, we're just going to go straight down. Make sure, see, my knees are going more forward. So I want to make sure that they're going outward. Okay. 15, 14, 13. Sit in it when you go down for the ones that are going down. 11, 10, 9, 8. Stick the butt out. 7. Just a little bit, not too much now. <laughs> Six, five, four, we can do it. Three, two, let's go, one more. One, sometimes your form is not the best when you first start doing an exercise, but as you get used to it, it gets better. All right, so you don't have to be perfect. Nothing is perfect in this world. The one thing that is important is the fact that you're doing it. And you're going to work your way through the kinks. I'm just grabbing my pillow for the donkey kicks. All right, I got my camera. So glad I came across this. <laughs> You are, I'm so happy that you're here. All right, this is a good angle. I'm going to be too far down over here. And it's cricket. Thank you for the follows. If you guys are enjoying the workout, hit the follow button. This is an easy morning workout that you can do. And if you miss the live workout, you can always check out the YouTube channel, Tanya the Introvert. It's in my bio. Easy to get to. All right, because I know that everybody's in a different time zone and things like that. All right, so we are going to do some bridges. We're going to grab that weight that we have. All right, and we're going to use that weight, put it right on the top of your thigh. It's not on your stomach. It's not down your leg. You're not holding it. You're just using your hands to hold it up, to keep it up. And you're letting that weight, this is the heavier weight. This is the 15 pound, okay? So we're going to go up for 15. That's 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. You can do it. 8. Seven, six, five, let's go, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to rest. We're going to rest for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's grab that weight back. All right, put it right in the same spot, and we're going to go for another count of 15, right? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, you can do it, 9, this one is the easy one, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Let's put that to the side. We are done with that weight. What time is it? 6.30. All right. So let's get a little bit of core activity in. We're going to be doing that same one that we do when we do our core because we're already on the ground. <laughs> All right, so 15, we're just gonna do one, one round, 13, 11, get the shoulder off the ground, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, you could do it. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. Whew. We're going to rest here for 10 seconds. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so let's get up and do our donkey kicks. You know, we got to do this. It's leg day. And we got to make sure that we add those donkey kicks in no matter what. I'm putting my resistance band right above my knee. That's where you should put yours. I'm using my pillow for my knees because I have bad knees, guys. They are horrible. But my knees are getting stronger. Ever since... Um, we switch up the workout to low impact cardio. When I go up and down the stairs, my leg used to want to give, give out. It doesn't even do that anymore. I was so surprised. So you can strengthen up your knees again. It just takes time. You got to be patient. All right. So let's get back into it. <sighs> Donkey kicks. We're going to do 10. Hold it up for one second. Nine. Eight. Seven, let's go. Six, you can do it. Sometimes this is the hardest one for people. <laughs> Five, four, I'm trying to engage my core as well. Three, two, one. We're going to extend the leg out and we're going to go up and down for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring that leg in. We're going to do the same thing to the next side. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, extend. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Bring that leg back in. We're gonna rest for 20 seconds. During this time, you can get some water. We started our workout at 6.05 and it's 6.34 and we're almost done. So 30 minutes, we can get a lot in to a 30 minute workout for the people that are new. Um, but if you're new here, I'm sure you watched the workout at least once. And you know that it's extremely do doable. Um, just a 30 minute workout, five times a week. That's the recommended amount to help reverse diabetes, to help with high blood pressure, to help with high cholesterol, to help bring your weight down for heart disease and all types of other stuff. So we know that in the natural world, everything is not good for us, but at least exercise can help us um, a lot more than we know. It's not just about the weight. Whew. All right, let's go. This is our last round, 10. Now, if your band moves up, you wanna make sure and put that thing back down. <laughs> 
10, 9, 8, 7, we can do it, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, extend, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you can do it, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. All right, the next side. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's a little break. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can do it. 4, 3, Two, one, extend, 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, don't quit, three, two, one. All right, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy, all right. So let's get into our cool down. I'm gonna take off my resistance band because we don't need that anymore. And as you guys can see, you don't need a whole bunch of stuff to do the workout. Do I need that resistance band? No, but I put it on because it gives some type of resistance. All right, so we're gonna get into our crisscross. This one is gonna take us right into the stomach vacuums, which are very important if you're trying to tighten up your core muscles. Over time, your core muscles are gonna feel like a corset. All right, so stay tuned for that one. All right, 20, 30 seconds. 30. 28. 27, you gotta breathe. <laughs> I gotta tell myself that too. 26. 25. 24. 23. 22, we can do it. 21. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, let's go. One, ooh. That one, you're gonna feel it in your inner thigh. It's helping to build the muscle up there, as well as your lower abdominal muscles. It helps to strengthen those as well. All right, we're just taking a little 10 second break. And now we're getting into our cool down. We're gonna start our cool down with a stomach vacuum. All right, deep breath in. Blow that out. Get control of your breathing. All right, for the stomach vacuum, for the newbies, you're going to engage your core muscles and you're gonna hold them in place. That's the easiest way I think that I can just describe it. And while you're doing that, you're also gonna to try to envision and make it feel like your navel is touching the floor. It doesn't need to look like it. It just needs to feel like it throughout this 15-second um, count. And you want to continue to breathe. All right, so let's get ready. Let's do one on the floor. Deep breath in. Blow that out. As you're blowing that air out, engage your core muscles. All right, I'm engaging them. I'm envisioning that my navel is touching the back. Getting as low as it can. I don't know, that's as far as my stomach goes. And we're gonna count 15, 14, continue to breathe, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, this is a good exercise for people that have had kids, a C-section, gain, lost weight, which is like all of us. So it's good for all of us. <laughs> Deep breath in, have one leg, Bent, one leg stretched out, 
when you bring this leg in closer, that's when you're gonna blow the air out. So deep breath in, blow the air out, and bring that leg in close. Count for five, four, three, two, one. Extend and make sure that your foot is flat. Five, four, three, two, one. Do the same thing to the next side. Deep breath in, blow that out. Bring that leg in close, as close as you can. Three, two, one. Extend that leg, flatten it. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now we're gonna get up. We're gonna get into our stomach vacuum. Okay. So for this one, we are going to curve our back inward as we're engaging our core muscles, all right? So deep breath in, blow that air out, engage your core muscles, bring your muscles all the way in if you can. And we're gonna hold this position, continue to breathe, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, take your time and release. All right, take your time. We're gonna stretch out our arms. Today's workout was pretty easy. Do you guys agree or no? I know you're gonna let me know. All right, so we're gonna do downward facing dog. To stretch our legs. All right, hold this position. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna do our last stomach vacuum, standing up together. Whew, gotta make sure I keep my son. Let's go 15K. Oh, shoot, y'all are getting it up there. Thank you so much. My great grandson said it's hard. He woke up early. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I use an ankle weight. Okay, sorry. Let me get back to the workout because we're not finished yet. So we're going to do a stomach vacuum standing up. All right. So for this one, I like to put my hands above my head for the newbies. Hands above the head. Also, if you have to move around to kind of not think about it, that's a good idea as well. That's what I do so that I continue to breathe and I don't think about the fact that I'm engaging my core muscles for a certain time period. Because when you start thinking about it, you start releasing, you start, oh my gosh, I, I can't breathe, you get lightheaded. So just move around if you need to. Count along if you have to, all right? So deep breath in, blow that air out and engage your core muscles, engage them. My hands are up, 15, I'm moving around so I don't think about it, 15, 14, but I am engaging my core muscles, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and that's it. We have a workout with a cool down of the stomach vacuums. The strength in our core muscles is not going to get you a six pack, but it is going to strengthen your core muscles to make you feel as if you have a corset on, which to me is better than anything. Because once you have a stronger core, your back is strong, your hips are strong, your knees are stronger. That is the that is why it's very important.